Good morning, everyone. My name is James, and I will be your teacher in this marketing course. Welcome to the sixth lesson of Chapter 1 entitled Macro Analysis of Demand, Approaching Demand Forecasting. In this section, we will explore the framework used to assess demand. From a technical standpoint, we are delving into how an organization can evaluate the dimensions of a market from a marketing perspective. Two key operations are involved. First, gathering data through purpose-specific market research. Second, interpreting that data to determine the size and characteristics of the market under investigation. More specifically, demand can be analyzed from two complementary viewpoints. A macro perspective, which focuses on identifying and defining the overall market landscape, and a micro perspective, which aims to estimate the actual volume of demand. From the macro angle, Demand analysis serves two core marketing objectives. The first is market description. This involves profiling the actors, consumers, or businesses in the market, typically using socio-demographic attributes to begin forming a basic understanding of the target market. The second objective is quantification, e. estimating demand volumes through forecasting models. Let us now look more closely at the process of market qualification. This involves classifying the market into various conceptual categories, potential market, qualified market, available market, target, served, market, and penetrated market. To make this clearer, consider the example of scooters. The potential market includes everyone who could possibly be interested in owning a scooter. The qualified market narrows this group to individuals who meet certain criteria, for instance, being over 14 years old. The available market is even more selective, including only those who not only desire a scooter, but are also legally and financially able to buy and use one, egg, those with a license. The target or served market represents the segment the company actively addresses through its marketing strategy. Finally, the penetrated market consists of the individuals who have actually purchased the product. This group is a subset of the previous ones. Now we turn to the process of market sizing. One widely used approach involves applying coefficient-based estimation methods. These techniques use parameters derived from historical data or expected future trends to project demand. Such coefficients are often technical in nature and reflect accumulated industry knowledge. Take, for example, the consumption of fast-moving consumer goods, FMCGs. Market volume, expressed in units, can be estimated using three key elements n, the total number of potential users, the ratio in slash n, indicating product adoption or penetration, cu, the average consumption rate per user. Let us apply this model to a concrete scenario, estimating the demand for disposable razors in Italy over a 30-day period. Assume there are approximately 25.1 million Italian males aged 14 and over who generally need to shave. Let's suppose 15% of them use disposable razors this is our penetration rate. Finally, assume each user consumes four razors per month. Multiplying these values, 25.1 million x 0.15 x 4, we obtain the estimated market demand. It's important to note that this methodology can be adjusted in complexity depending on the level of accuracy desired. In all cases, it must be based on a careful understanding of the product itself and its usage behavior. Click like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next lesson.